you may anticipate Transformers Rise of the Beasts to be lacking of surprises given that it takes place before the events of Michael Bay's five Transformers films. Of course, Optimus Prime survives. Of course, Bumblebee survives. Undoubtedly, the Autobots triumph. All of that is accurate. But keep in mind that Rise of the Beasts introduces characters, human and robotic, who don't appear in the Michael Bay movies, opening the possibility for fresh narratives. And if the film's conclusion is to be accepted, what fascinating new stories they could turn out to be. Let's discuss it. Spoilers ahead. Noah returns home after aiding the Autobots in stopping Unicron and his Terrakins and Scourge. What does he have to show for saving the planet and donning a Transformer costume like Spike in the 1986 cartoon movie? He does, however, receive a job interview for an unknown position. The man he speaks to, who is portrayed by Michael Kelly from House of Cards, appears to know more about Noah's experiences than he really should, including where he was, who he was with, and even what he's been saying on the phone. Noah receives his card, and he is invited to join the squad. When Noah flips the card over, the G.I. Joe emblem is visible. Like Transformers, G.I. Joe is a well-known toy turned multimedia brand that became popular in the 1980s. It has been adapted into a number of high-budget live-action films and, more recently, a seemingly random revival. Hasbro is the owner of both companies, and there have previously been crossovers between them, especially in comic books. Fans have long wished to see G.I. Joe and Transformers together on film, but it has looked as though the Transformers franchise's owners had no desire in doing so. But as of late, it appears that they do. Next week, we'll go into greater detail about what transpired. Additionally, in the movie's mid-credits sequence, we find out that Noah, who we presume has taken the job at GI, Joe, had revived his supposedly deceased Autobot friend, Mirage. As a result, even if Optimus Prime and Bumblebee might not assist the real American heroes, perhaps some other Autobots could. Of course, there are a lot of questions at this stage. Will Hasbro and Paramount completely reinvent G.I. Joe? What happens to Henry Golding after Snake Eyes? Are we going to have a Transformers G.I. Joe movie straight away? Will they work together or compete with one another? What Joes will be involved in it? Who are the Transformers? How closely will this follow the other film's canon? We could continue forever, without a doubt. The G.I. Joe hint at the end of Rise of the Beast distinguishes this movie as anything other than a prequel. It marks the beginning of a whole new tangent and is very probably the first step towards a crossover if viewers attend. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.